Ultimate Frisbee is a long and illustrious one. It is, in my opinion, the best sport offered at O'Hara and is also one of the most physically challenging. It is a complicated sport that integrates aspects of many sports such as football, rugby, and basketball. It is a no-contact sport that requires great reflexes and precision as well as hard work and dedication. I will begin my lesson with the history of the Frisbee, or DISC if not using a Whammo brand. The Frisbee was created when New England college students started throwing around empty pie tins from the Frisbee Pie Company. This is disputed by some, but is the widely accepted creation of the flying disc. It became widely popular over the years, and the Pluto Platter was eventually patented by wham -O. The disc was perfected over the years, and we now have the disc that we use today. The sport of ultimate, as it's referred to by players and fans alike, was officially created around 1968, not far from here in Maplewood, New Jersey, at Columbia High School. A student at Columbia High School named Joel Silver proposed an ultimate team to student council after learning a form of frisbee football from a boarding school in Massachusetts. Ultimate became very popular with the hippies in the 1960s and soon spread all over the country. The rules have basically stayed the same since the creation of the sport. It is strictly no contact and is one of the only sports where players are the referees. Spirit of the game is the single most important aspect of the sport. It teaches players to be honest and gentlemanly and put the rules before their own competitiveness. At some higher levels, observers are present and can only be used when both teams cannot agree on a call. The sport has remained popular over the years due to it including people from all different types of clubs within a school, showing that anyone, even the nerdiest nerd, could play Ultimate. Ultimate then moved to the college level when Joel Silver attended Lafayette University. The first major tournament occurred in 1975 at Yale University. Rutgers won the tournament, becoming the first ultimate college champions. Penn State hosted the first real national championship in 1979, and Glassboro State won that tournament, defeating Santa Barbara in 1918. During this time, club ultimate teams began to sprout up all over the country, creating the first professional level of ultimate. The sport then spread to the UK and became widely popular all over the world. In 1979, a governing body was created for Ultimate, the UPA, or Ultimate Players Association. They started setting up tournaments all around the country as well as a national tournament that has been going on since its creation in 1979. Other governing bodies began popping up all over the world, including an international body called the World Flying Disc Federation. Ultimate as we know it today is present on the high school, college, and club level all over the country. Each year on the youth level, there are state championships that are followed by Eastern and Western championships. The college and club levels participate in national championships held every year, typically in Florida. Beach Ultimate has also become very popular and is under the control of the Beach Ultimate Disc Association. In conclusion, I must say that Ultimate is an amazing and athletically challenging sport that all people should participate in. It not only makes you physically fit, but it teaches you how to be a good sport, have fun, and not take yourself too seriously. When I pretend everything is what I want it to be, I look exactly like what you had always wanted to see. When I pretend I can forget about the criminal I am, still in second.